Hi, I'm Eugene Coe, an Associate Professor of Orthopedics and Neurosurgery at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Today we're drawing outside the lines, talking about cervical disc replacements. Patients often present with neck pain, and the neck pain can shoot down the arms and create a severe amount of what we call radiculopathy. When that neck pain is associated with radiculopathy, or arm pain, it's often due to disc herniations. And there's a, a way to preserve range of motion of the neck by getting the pressure off of the nerve elements by doing what we call cervical disc replacements. A cervical disc replacement is a condition where, as a surgery, where we end up preserving the range of motion of the neck and allowing the neck to have less pressure off the spinal cord. In a cervical herniated disc that often happens, you have a disc that bulges and it's now irritating the spinal cord or the nerve elements. And here's the spinal cord in red. And you can see these, these disc bulges are now irritating it and causing the neck pain as well as the shooting pain down the arm. And for patients that don't necessarily need a fusion and want to preserve range of motion and don't have any neck instability, we can offer them a cervical disc replacement where instead of doing a fusion, we end up providing them with a cervical disc. And that's simply by removing this offending disc material here and then placing a cervical disc replacement, which often contains two metal plates and a piece of plastic here that allows that segment to continue its range of motion of the neck, as well as getting pressure off of the spinal cord and you no longer have the arm pain. Often the cervical disc replacements are reserved for patients in their 30s or 40s. In summary, cervical disc replacement is a valid way of treating cervical myelopathy or radiculopathy, getting the pressure off the spinal cord, and preserving range of motion of the neck.